What is going on my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports and before we get started with this video I wanted to show you guys my Teespring virtual store man where I'm finally selling some Ricky J apparel and I want to show you guys some of the stuff. Um, basically we're just starting out with the basic t-shirts and sweaters. Nice hoodies though man. I like that white one right there. But I want to show you this. I was working on a nice little mug. Who wouldn't want to sip on some nice fresh coffee or some hot chocolate on a cold winter's night with a Ricky J mug man and it's belly tickling time on the back so um, yeah I'm actually gonna pick one up myself and put it on my nice little desk but check it out uh, once again there's all sorts of colors not just the colors you see here there's all sorts of colors for you to choose from so check out the Ricky J store and now let's get into the video are you listening Ricky J Sports All right, people, coming up in this tournament battle, we have Panda Gaming, who, in my opinion, is one of the nicest guys you could ever meet on YouTube. This guy has been repping the UFC scene, the EA Sports UFC scene for a while, man. Um, he has great videos. I have a soft spot for him because at one point he did take a break to kind of deal with some personal issues that I'm not going to get into but now he's back and better and better than ever and I thought I would just make this little intro video for him just to let you all know that this guy is amazing and if you are a UFC fan you gotta subscribe to him and check his videos out when he had I'm gonna just sit, share a quick little story here but when he played UFC 2 I don't think I've ever seen a guy who's so good at locking in submissions man and <laughs> look at this look at that nice little caption <laughs> that is awesome right there but um, he's really good at submitting guys even in UFC 3 but the one thing I really like about him is he's kind of like me in a way <laughs> I'm not saying I'm narcissistic or anything but he doesn't take the game too seriously he is all about having fun but he plays the game at a high level so check him out he is putting himself out there just like how I did in the ESFL league but he's putting himself out there going up against a tough opponent in round two of the B-Fighters Only fight. So let's get into it. I'm actually not going to talk over the fight. I'm going to allow Panda Gaming, who was streaming during this little series here, I'm going to allow him to commentate and take the stage. And when you're done, man, subscribe to him. He's a great guy. So good luck to both fighters and sit back, relax, and enjoy this battle. I believe it's Panda Gaming versus a casual gamer. I was actually gonna pick Costa because I was like, this dude's got the stand up of a king. <laughs> of course, he's on the juice. <laughs> Hello? Respect? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. We landed the first strike, we win. We win. Oh no, I can't be laggy. That punch will work right through the door. This will be fun. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Both fighters are a little hesitant here. He splits the guard, connects with the punch there. Good combo. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Good job in landing this series of strikes here. <laughs> and he continues to work on the inside of that lead left. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. I feel like I'm taking this too serious. We gotta, we gotta relax a bit. Able to check that kick as well. Kick lands. Oh. Costa with the hooks. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Those punches are very hard. Oh, lands that punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Oh, nice. Cool. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. He ate me up with that. 
fighter here. A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful technique on the hook. There's another one. Didn't quite connect. Nice shot. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. It's the speed. That inside leg kick. Straight combo. Doing that a lot. Not gonna get too crazy. Not gonna get too crazy. What you got on the ground, bro? This was just take a bunch of body shots and get up. Wow, I feel like they buffed the damage right there. Although I can't see my health. <laughs> What's up, Peter? Have you wrestled or done martial arts in real life? Uh, no, I wanted to, bro. I wanted to. I wasn't allowed to, man. Being from the South, you gotta respect your parents and stuff like that. I had two rules. One, can't get a tattoo. Second rule, can't fight. That was it. That was the end of my career. <laughs> that was the end of my career. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. How about that shin? Straight right is there. Good defense there. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Here's a shot deep. Hey, we got to take that. Let's go. That was a super delayed transition. Just over three minutes to go now. Super delayed. One leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. He transitions to full mount. There's a zero percent chance he got that. It's had to be because of the delay. It's cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, hopefully, you guys can see the pausing that we're having here. Like the lag. <laughs> but it's okay. Respect, my friend. Oh, I didn't do respect. My bad. <laughs> I meant to do respect. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, dang. Uh, Alright. Good round, good round. Let me make sure we don't have anything else going on. I accidentally taunted. I meant to do respect. And I got punched in the face. But that was his pick, so cool. Um, oh, I was supposed to rematch. Let me make sure I got nothing else going on in the back. What the, what the, what the, what the, what? Because everybody was going full body. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, no, I'm not. SGR. This is uh, for Ricky J's tournament. Tapped out worst dude ever. Uh, yeah. He's, he had zero ground game. He was super popular, bro. Super popular. And all he had was a max stat character. <laughs> I mean, he had skill. But it'd be like myself or Unibot or Owen or, or somebody who was pretty good at the game making a max character and just playing with them. 
Why can't I can't even touch gloves? What are you doing? Did he hit a button? Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh boy. Huge uppercut misses. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Oh, beautiful leg kick by her there. Can't take too many of those. Nice defense there. She blocks the shot, Joe. Mackenzie's earned it. I didn't mean to do that. Seconds to go in round one. Hits the reversal and north south. Good round. Some good punches from the top here. <sighs> you played worst dude ever today, Panda? I thought he was banned forever. No, I didn't play him. He is banned forever. Uh, 51. I don't know what you're talking about. I gotta catch up later. Excellent 
There's no way. She's now back to half guard. There's no way. I'm pre-denying, by the way, guys. I have to pre-deny. Go. I don't know where he's at, my guy. It's hard though. It's not easy. The fight. What's up, Nick? How you doing, Ray? Ah, I did it again! For the fun. Yeah, you know, that's what I did. You always pick for the fun. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between oh, Alexi right. and Dana White. Series is tied one to one. We're in a five round title weight fight. We got the boss man Dana White showing up, taking on Alexio Lake, the boa constrictor. Alright. I'm only gonna go for the Ezekiel choke. I won't punch. I won't punch at all. I won't do any other submissions, just the Ezekiel choke. I know it's not in the game. I get it, I get it. I feel like basically they made my. I'm getting brub rub. I'm getting brub rub 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 destroyed. I'm getting brub rub 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 destroyed. Body kick, look at that. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. It's a bit of a chess battle. I don't know how he got out. I don't know how he got out. I really don't know how he got out. <laughs> I, I flicked it. Didn't matter. Everything feels like he hit, he's hitting me so hard. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one is. gets his attention. It looks like 
the submissions locked. I know his hands are sweaty. But secure that ankle underneath his knee. He's got it. Getting tighter. Let's technique and getting that choke for the victory well you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp that was a near perfect setup on that choke sunk it in deep and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep he chose to tap out and let's look at it from a different angle reverse triangle perfectly executed for the submission victory Wow, so there you have it people. What a nice little comeback by Panda Gaming. He kind of got cheap shotted there in that first fight, but he managed to come back and look at that. Submitting guys all the way to the next round. That was incredible. And as I said in the beginning of this video, this guy in UFC 2 was unbelievable at submitting guys. And it seems like he's carrying it over into UFC 3. And I don't care who is facing Panda Gaming next. You got to be so careful with this submission game. And um, holy smokes. Um, it's too bad he wasn't in the first tournament where he could have used a guy like Ortega or maybe Souza Jacare. But anyway, thanks so much, guys, for stopping by. Don't forget to check out Panda Gaming. And I'll catch you in the next video. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. Have a great day, man. And don't forget, you are awesome.